Welcome back to another edition of Secrets from the Ancient Past. Today I thought you might be encouraged by hearing the backstory of one of the most popular videos we ever produced for the Christian Television Network. To me, this story is a great example of how God provides in some amazing, miraculous ways. In 2011, the idea for my ministry started taking shape. It was a dream that had been formed in prison. See, I was engaged in prison ministry, and I wanted to show the men in my Bible study group what I was seeing and learning in Israel. They caught the vision, and they began to pray. Some of them began to fast that I would be able to help others experience Israel now. The lessons learned in the land of the Bible seemed too important to us for people to wait until they had enough time to go to Israel, had enough money for the trip, or in their case, until they got out of prison. Miraculously, while that 13-week Bible study was still underway, I got connected with the Christian Television Network. It's in St. Petersburg, Florida. Now, CTN, the guys at CTN promised they would play my videos on their network if I could just raise the money to get a team of photographers and myself to Israel. Even that provision was clearly a sign of God's favor from my vantage point. The fact that we did indeed raise the money for six people to make the trip was a small miracle. We made plans to travel in the spring of 2012. Now, getting ready for that trip, I spent months writing out scripts for different videos we hope to do all over the land of the Bible. On our first day of filming, I decided we would go to the Valley of Elah where David killed Goliath. Now, I wrote a script for that shoot. I rewrote that script several times. I memorized the script. I practiced the script. I even planned out all the camera angles we would need for the shoot. The first, the first shoot was going to be important. We had to get this right. We had to get off to a good start. Well, the big day finally came, and we started filming early that morning. I was pretty nervous. It was our first day, so it took a good bit of time to set up the cameras, check the lighting, test our sound, test our backup recording system. And all that time, I was trying to remember all I needed to say about David and Goliath. I was trying to look ahead to what this video was going to look like. Well, we finally got ready to film. I was in the middle of that first take down in the, the bottom of the Valley of Elah, near the stream bed where David probably took the stones that he would use in the fight. And I noticed suddenly that all of our photographers were looking somewhere else. I was talking, they were supposed to be looking at me, but none of them were looking at me. Something had happened behind me. I turned and saw a shepherd. He had just topped the hill behind us with dozens of sheep. I mean, there might have been more than a hundred sheep in that flock. They just kept coming over the hill, a wave after wave. I had never seen so many sheep in Israel. And finally, I gave up and said, hey, guys, why don't we shoot sheep? Well, they all scrambled for position. They got a nod of approval from the shepherd, and all these photographers disappeared into the flock. They were leaving me. I was left down by the creek bed. I was actually wondering if we were ever going to get around to recording the story of David and Goliath. <laughs> Suddenly, one of the photographers from the network shouted something I had not expected anyone to say. He said, get over there and say something about sheep. I didn't have anything ready to say about sheep. That had not been one of my plans. <laughs> but then again... I realized instantly I might never have an opportunity to record a video quite like this. We had the cameras ready. We had the right lighting. We had the sound that was already recording. So I went up the hill. I waded in among the sheep, and I tried to think of something to say. Well, we, we tried it once, and I got to hear what I was going to say, and so I said, okay, I've got something, you know, and so we rolled the tape a second time. By, by that time, nearly all of the sheep had passed me by. We only had 60 seconds left to shoot. 
we would have to get it right the second time or we would lose the opportunity altogether. Well, here's the final product. The short little video that has appeared everywhere CTN and thanks to satellite broadcasting, that's pretty much all across the world. You know, it's not unusual to find a shepherd and a sheep in Israel as you walk around this land. I'm reminded that Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. He even said things like, my sheep know my voice and they follow me. And then he said, I lay down my life for the sheep. You know, when he had his last conversation with Simon Peter, remember what he said? They, they had that important reconciliation on the beach there at the Sea of Galilee. He kept saying, take care of my sheep, feed my lambs. Do the same thing I would do for my sheep. Lay down your life for them. Serve one another. Take care of the sheep. It's our responsibility if we're followers of Christ to take care of the sheep. I'm Andy Cook for the Christian Television Network. You know, we knew we had a neat little video as soon as we shot it that day. I mean, no matter what I had said, we had incredible footage. It was going to be beautiful. It was a great way to start the trip. And by the time we finished that video of the sheep, I knew something else. God had been in charge of my dream long before I knew anything about my dream. And God had financed the project. He had made it possible. God had provided the photographers. God had given me a passion for telling the story. God had gotten me connected with the Christian Television Network. And just when we were set up on our first day of filming, as if to tell me again that he was in charge, it seems to me God even caused the largest flock of sheep I've ever seen in Israel walk right into our outdoor television studio. Wow. You know, Paul once wrote to his friends in Philippi. He said these words, My God can supply all of your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. So my message, if God ever gives you a dream, don't be afraid to follow it. Don't miss it. Don't let anything stand in your way of watching the miracles come over the hill behind you. Oh, thanks for joining us today. I'll see you next time. I'm Andy Cook.